An oscilloscope is a very useful tool in designing and troubleshooting electronic circuits. The display screen is where a picture is drawn of what is taking place at a particular point in an electronic circuit. There is an intensity control and a focus control for the display screen and of course we have an on-off switch. This is the vertical input. This is where the signal that's under test enters the oscilloscope. We also have a DC and AC switch. If it is in the DC mode we can measure DC and the AC signal if there is one. If it's in the AC mode we only see an AC signal. The DC is blocked. The horizontal position of course moves the display either left or right and of course the vertical position will move the display up or down. There is a vertical gain that can amplify or attenuate the signal so it can fit nicely on the display screen. There's also a time base. This is a horizontal time base and it moves from left to right and depending on where you have the time base set it can move very slowly or very fast across the screen. These are the major items that I use all the time when using the oscilloscope. And here's the scope I'm going to use. It's a dual trace scope. I'm only going to be using channel 1. But you'll notice that we have the same items that I just talked about but they're just arranged differently. Here is the intensity and focus control, the horizontal time base, horizontal position, vertical position, AC-DC switch, vertical gain, input, vertical input, and of course the screen and these are the items that I use all the time when I'm using an oscilloscope. This is with the time base at dot two seconds. There's dot one, 50 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds, 10, 5, and 2 milliseconds. I'm going to increase the intensity. Here's the position of the vertical. I'm now going to hook the scope up to a radio circuit and I'm going to connect it right here on the plate of this tube and what we're going to see is an AM modulated 455 carrier. The carrier is the wide part and the audio information is the part that is moving up and down on both sides, the positive and negative side. And AccuWeather meteorologist Dean DeBoer joins us. Morning Dean. Hey, good morning to you Mike. How are you? I'm fine. Well, a little uh this hey, this is modulated well, carrier, yeah, we've, uh, got, uh, we had the and you can see the audio clearing out there. Uh, looks very the good up until about at the top and the bottom. Uh, There's no clipping. To see the carrier, the time base is now set at 2 milliseconds. I'm going to increase the time base to 2 microseconds. Now you can see the carrier, and when there's a pause in the speech, 
getting up into the 70, 70 degrees. You can clearly see the, the carrier. It's like another pleasant day and even warmer Saturday will be well up into the 70s. You can even see uh, getting into the Is nice and smooth in the way it's supposed to be. Uh, sun mixing with some clouds. Now as we get into Sunday, we have this big storm system that you may have heard about that's over the Rockies, going to dump a couple of feet of snow in the higher elevations of the Rockies. Denver could get 6 to 12 inches. I'm now going to move the scope lead from here to here and what we're going to see is a nice clean audio output. But if you take a look at the lower right we also have 67 and a half volts DC. Look left, look right, in front of you, in your rearview mirror. As you drive around the triangle, you will see one, two, three, or more Lexus vehicles from Johnson Lexus. And someone sold each and every one of those cars. If you have what it takes to represent the finest automobiles in the world and the nation's number one Lexus dealer in customer satisfaction, then tell us by sending your resume to careers at johnsonlexus.com. Johnson Lexus is serious about being an equal opportunity employer. The Raleigh Police Department invites you to join us for the inaugural... That last part we had some nice audio and then I flipped the AC-DC switch to DC and the signal disappeared because there's 67 and a half volts there and it threw the signal out of sight, literally. So then I turned down the vertical gain to get the signal in and you can see it come back but then the signal is so small the AC so I flipped the uh, AC DC switch back to AC and then increased the vertical gain the Raleigh Police Department invites you to join us for the inaugural